City services in Elizabeth City came to a halt Tuesday morning after city workers decided to go on a strike. Me and my fellow workers, co-workers, we are tired of eating the crumbs that fall off the table. We want to eat like city council eat. City worker Tommy Hompson says he's going on a strike because he wants a pay raise for the job he's been working at for 18 years. I'm sure the, the citizens are going to hear what we're talking about when they can't get their trash picked up or they can't get their lights turned on. I'm sure the citizens will hear. Troy Searcy works full time for the Elizabeth City Public Works Department and said in Monday's city council meeting that he's been living out of his van because he can't afford to pay for housing with his salary. I was unable to and, and still unable to afford the median rent for a one bedroom apartment. We need to make something happen together so that I don't have to live out of the back of a van. City Council held a meeting Monday night and discussed city workers getting a pay raise. Our employees deserve a very much well-deserved raise. And we had the opportunity last night, uh, I made the motion last night actually, to propose a 10 cent property tax increase so that we will be able to fund the raise for all of our employees. Councilman Atkins and Councilman Kim Spence were the two council members who voted for that tax increase. Atkins says there were not enough votes to pass that increase. No one likes to hear uh, about tax increases or whatever, but when you get to a situation like this where our employees are all out on the line and it's a chance of them possibly quitting, not showing up, not coming to work, we got to do what we got to do. We have another meeting scheduled, uh, emergency meeting now scheduled for tomorrow, which is our last chance to make it right before July 1 when we have to turn our budget in. Adkin says if the strike continues, it will impact the entire city. Every day in Elizabeth City is trash day. They didn't pick up any trash. They didn't do any road uh, repairs. Adkin says the city paid $35,000 to have a pay study done. The pay study was done and they came back and reported to us that, you know, just about all of our city uh, workers were under, under the, the middle, the minimum salary. The pay study suggested a 4% increase for city workers. That increase has not been implemented by city council. City Council will have an emergency meeting Wednesday night where they will discuss ways to fund a pay raise for city workers. In Elizabeth City, Leandra Head, News 3.